let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Oh, what the fuck? The 88mm flak bus is proof that Gadget will literally overhype anything. I mean seriously, they call it a heavyweight flak in the dev blog, but don't even give us their burst shells. Like what the fuck is this shit? Anyway, regardless the magic flak bus is basically the Germans attempt at building a technical like ISIS, but some asshole got Hitler involved. And it spiraled into another one of those virtual dick measuring contests between him and Stalin where Adolf felt like he had to have the biggest and baddest gun of any fuckhead on the metaphorical block. Nope. What they came up with is a slow unmaneuverable vehicle with less armor than a fucking canoe. But this magic flak bus gets its name. Not from the shitty half track. But from the massive as fuck flak 37, 88mm anti-aircraft gun foot aren't super glued to the flatbed of the half track as a practical joke. But what's even more scary about it is the battle rating of 3.7. And meaning that the biggest and baddest motherfucker you are going to meet in this thing is a Churchill Mark 7, which is really the only vehicle you can't penetrate from the front. But let's save the useful shit till we get to the gun. Mobility wise it can best be described as fucking awful. It's not fast even on hard flat ground and the reverse speed is slower than your grandmother walking the treadmill in a desperate attempt to lose weight. It handles like her too. Everything about this vehicle in terms of mobility is astonishingly bad. If you are frustrated easily by lack of mobility and maneuverability, don't play the flak bus. As for armor it may as well not have any, it's armored against small arms fire and nothing more than that. 50 caliber machine guns will punch holes in you like it's going out of style and the worst thing about it is the massive box on the tail end of the vehicle which is your ammo storage container which you have to expose to get any fucking gun depression. So if you see a flak bus side scraping around the corner trying to be able to fire at you, just fire an HE round into that storage compartment and watch the fucking fireworks. There is only one redeeming feature about the magic flak bus. But before we get into that there is one last shitty feature of this vehicle, because the half tracks cab is so large, you physically cannot depress the gun in about a 50 degree arc in front of the vehicle. Now on some vehicles this wouldn't be a problem and you could still effectively engage enemies in front of you. However, the flak bus is literally so fucking tall, that shooting anything in front of you under a kilometer, is a complete fucking impossibility, and even when you adjust your angling to be able to depress the gun you can only manage to do 3 degrees. However let's get onto the hardened sausage launcher, and that is the flak 37, 88mm food dispenser which has the fastest rate of fire of any weapon over 76mm in the game. With a maximum reload rate of exactly 5 seconds with an ace crew, you can pump out 12 rounds per minute. And since this is a German 88, you get the Panzer Grenade shell with 145mm of penetration at 100m against flat armor. The sap shell also carries a whopping 160 grams of explosive filler meaning that this round has the potential to do more damage than the American 90mm M82 nuke round that you don't get till 6.0. It also gets an HE round, but the only thing you are going to use this on is other unsuspecting flak vehicles who are blind as fuck and can't see the two. Story building of a flak bus driving around the battlefield. As for ammo count you should take all of it. I mean it's not like loading less ammo is going to save you anyway, and with the rate of fire of an MG42 you are going to burn through ammo like it's Barbarossa all over again. As for crew skills focus on weapon reloading, leadership, tank driving, targeting, keen vision and vitality, and as soon as you can, by the expert qualification cause that shit's cheap as fuck. If you feel like seal clubbing even more, buy the ace crew for 400 gold. As for modifications start with parts, turret drive, FPE, adjustment of fire, conscripting the Hitler youth, and elevation mechanism. Now that you've researched and bought the almighty flak bus, here's how to play it. First and foremost you are not a tank. You are a self-propelled artillery piece. Your job is not to be on the front lines with the rest of your allies, but behind them camping behind the nearest bush or small monument that you can see over while still being able to depress the gun. 
To do this, you will have to either side scrape around a corner or sit side onto the enemy and pray that you can spot and kill them before they spot and kill your fat ass. You could also drive the vehicle backwards but all this does is expose your run armored ammo racks even more and makes you essentially a guaranteed one shot kill for any HE shell in fucking existence. So find a firing position at medium to long range and support your allies with rapid, accurate one shot kills. Essentially you are there to guard the flanks of your advancing allies and make sure that no surprise but sex is experienced. If you are coordinated, you can also use your allies to lure enemies into an ambush and then surprise them with a super hardened sausage right to their dumb fucking face. So there you have it, the magic flakbus. Now get out there and show them why flakbus domination is the best kind of domination.